Hi guys and uh, welcome to OP Digital Blueprint. We are blessed to have two guests today. Our very own Jeffrey and of course our very own Marty. So uh, say hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> hi everybody. Yeah, exactly. Hello, yeah, everyone. thank you Marty. Yeah. Hello. He got it. <laughs> it, might, it might it might be it might be day it, it might be dangerous for us both here. But... <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, I'm going to get Jeffrey to start us off today because we're going to have a, a, a good chat about the internet and about technology. So, Jeffrey, start us off today. Oh, oh great. Uh, not a problem. Um, everybody here is obviously familiar with the internet. Uh, you know, I consider it to be probably the most transformative technology of our time. And it's it's not slowing down, you know. I mean, we had humble beginnings. Uh it was used as a, I, I guess, a tool for communication between um, governments and academics. Uh, and it's gone into what we know as a vast, vast network. <laughs> now it's connecting billions of people, you know, but um, I think the history of the Internet is something that's rather interesting. I mean, we, we started a long time ago with uh, uh, telegraph and then we went to telephone and then I think radio and TV and we ended up with computers and, and all of that. But that set the stage, if you will, for what we know now as the Internet. And back in the day, back in uh, I think it was probably about 1960 or so when it first got going and it was our first uh, worldwide broadcasting capability that also, as we know today, served as a medium for uh, collaborating and for doing uh, all sorts of interactions between individuals, regardless of where you live on the planet. So, I, I mean, I, I don't know where you want me to go. I can, I can do history for yeah, you. I can, I, well, no, I mean, whatever we, you want. We know that that um, we know that every year there's there's a, approximately 190 million new people that gain access to the internet so so give us an indication of what that means to us as as on passiveans and and what it's likely to mean to the company then jeffrey oh my goodness that means we're never going to run out of customers that means that no matter what we're doing and where we're going we're always going to have somebody buying our products and using our products and interacting with us and it means a lot more than just that too because we are, um, as we move forward and we start letting these products go out and they start being commercialized, then that means that we're having a member base right now. We, we you know, we got a charter member base of uh, something over a million, I'm sure. And we've got members that are coming in and with that many more internet users every year, that means that our member base within on passive is going to grow, 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 grow. That means everything that we're doing is going to grow. And obviously when we grow and you guys were talking about targeted traffic, I mean, if you think about what targeted traffic is, right? I mean, that's when somebody, me, you, somebody looking for something clicks on something because they think it can solve a problem, answer a question or, or get a product or a service they need. Bam. I mean, that is on passive because we've got everything that you're going to need for anything that you're going to need. So what does that mean for us? That means we're always going to grow and we're never going to run out of traffic. How's that? Absolutely. Absolutely. So Collins, you, from the technical side, because I know you've been talking about technical all day and I, he's been, bless him, he's been traveling. So, so, so I'm going to make it worse. So tell us a little bit more about the technical side and what's happening from that point of view and where are we going? Yeah, so let's look at um, on passive as a whole. I'll just thank you, Jeffrey, for giving the intro. This is really beautiful. This is a topic we can, we can maybe we can sit here and, and talk the whole day. <laughs> Maddie said eight hours is not even enough. So, <laughs> you know, on passive come at a very good time. We are in the internet age. All the application we are building is what is web application means if you don't have internet you cannot even connect you know you're talking about old staff old tracker or academy everything is just online you know so most companies now want to have their presence online and if they want to have their presence they must have online application that is where on passive is going 
when you're talking about AI and machine learning, you know, building, you know, a computer system and then expose the, the, the machine to, to learn, you know, the, the, the mechanics and everything to analyze the data, study the data, study the trend. So machine can do that. That's what it's, that's where AI is going, AI and machine learning. Instead of feeding the machine with information, say, no, I will build you, expose you to the internet space. That's where OnPassif is going. Think about old tracker, old trim. We have heat map, right? We, when we look at heat map, what is the machine doing? It's analyzing the trend, collecting the data, say, all right, this is where people are clicking. This is where people are looking at this. So that is analytic tool, you know, part of it, which is part of old, O, um, o, o, um, not old trim, old tracker. So part of old tracker is in old trim. So you can look at it again more and more and more speech to text, text to speech, all of those things. They are all machines learning. And why do we have this? It's thanks to the internet, internet age now, where we are now in the world, where everything is digital, everything is customized, everything is just like. People are just tired of doing manual labor every day, clicking with your hand. Now we want to do things fast and fast and fast. And on Passive is building that tools where it can really enhance and support productivity for all companies at large. I think that's where we are going. So I'll leave it there and we can talk more and more about it. <laughs> Great, absolutely. Thank, thanks, Collins. Marty, we, we've kind of looked at the internet itself. We kind of looked at the technical side, but what does it mean for businesses? What does it mean for our business? And what does it mean for if we have a business with on passive as far as an affiliate is concerned? Huh. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an easy one. No, um, <laughs> look, the, the thing about the internet is the money data is money right we already know that everything about data everybody's collecting it people are making millions uh aws is making billions more than half of what they make is from data it's all data uh the other day my my uh, refrigerator blew up right for three kids and you know, trust me i was <laughs> i was in the little house on the prairie for three days but anyway after i went on i decided i'm going to go look up refrigerators and, and as always after i looked it up refrigerators followed me everywhere i went <laughs> no, i'm not kidding i went on and, and the funny thing is i go to youtube now you know i'm on youtube a lot when i get on youtube even the ads that i'm seeing are refrigerators now look that isn't a coincidence it's somebody mastering the data they know what you're doing. They find out how you're doing it. Now, you know, what, years ago when I got my first, well, I didn't get my first computer. The company gave me one in 1990, I believe it was. And you remember how ugly they were, little little square blocks instead of rounded. You know, it was not very clean, but back then it was a big deal. Uh, a lot of that was just communicating. Hello, email, we thought, little with AW. AOL, that crazy noise it used to make to get people connected. Today is a different animal. Now, when you talk about like targeted traffic, like Jeffrey and you guys are talking about, and learning learning what the functions of people are, where what are people doing? It's getting to the point now that AI and internet can tell where the trends are going that's even more it's not just collecting from the past they've learned a way to collect from the past mm -hmm. and dictate the future now when you can say okay we're doing this now and this is where data scientists and all these type of people come in they say if you do this and you do this and this is from data collection this is going to happen it, it's almost like going to a slot machine and standing there and letting people pull it and you know what pull is the winner and when you have enough data and you can collect especially on the internet the winner is the one that knows how to go out like you talked about O-Tracker go out find out where am I at what is working I know I was guilty of this when I was marketing for years I I would fall in love with something I was doing oh that's a beautiful that's a beautiful ad. That's a beautiful image. That's a beautiful. It doesn't matter what we think. 
It matters what works. And I did something one time, and this is to prove how people are really strange, all of us. You know I am. And we all know Jeffrey is. I'm just kidding. So, but no, but think about this for a minute. I made I made a poster, and it was a beautiful lady, a perfect dude walking with a perfect kid to a <laughs> private no, to a private jet. And I did the same thing with an old man, wrinkled up hands, holding gold nuggets in his hand. Like half his palm. That's it. Over top of a panning tray like you're going to pan for gold. I ask people live, which one would you like better? What would you be more determined to click on? The guy walking to the jet, this and this and this. But it wasn't true. They fell in love with it, but in reality, when you put the gold tray down, people are thinking, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not sure as hell that woman's not going to come after me, and my kids are ugly. I'm just kidding. But the point is, they went after the old guy with the hand holding the gold. I didn't, I don't know why, but when you do, like with AI and, and, and IT and all this, it will tell you the truth whether you like it or not. The reason people that succeed now, which I'm fine, I'm learning, is because emotion has nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter what all four of us think. It matters what happens, what is the reality. When this happens, what happened? And they start to learn the trends of people. When you say targeted traffic, yeah, I can go to all people that love swimming and advertise a pool. Doesn't mean they're gonna buy it. But the trend is this person's been asking about pools for three or four months. He wants a pool. <laughs> and, un and under the right circumstance, you're going to hit him at the right time. That's a targeted traffic. Thousands of people like pools. Thousands of them never buy one. But if you know the trend of that person, and that's what they're learning. I know all this sounds scary to people. But look, we don't have to like it. We don't. Have, it's fact. That's where we're going. There's a there's a clean way to do it, a nice way to do it. Not pushing people around, but when the, nowadays with my grandchildren and even my children, everything is now. Everything. I didn't hear the news until six o'clock at night when I was growing up. I don't care how bad it was. You never heard anything. Then you get on the news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news is anybody that has a phone. Most of the news we hear is somebody whipped out a phone and they're showing a, a bank robbery or some idiot did something. And it's instant. Everything's instant. When they got into AI and IT and machine learning, because it's all intertwined, you can take all this. And if you, if you do it right, get rid of emotion. Because listen, AI doesn't have emotion. It doesn't care. You tell it, this is what I want you to look for. I want you to find trends. So what mathematically will tell you this guy walking up with a suitcase with a girl somewhere between seven and eight years old. He's got a briefcase. He's the grandfather. That's the granddaughter. He would love to give her ice cream. It, it, they read it. But when, I, when I said, oh, we have a video one now where the camera's behind the, the screen. And it reads people as they walk up. That's where the Internet's going now. That's the Internet where... Trillions will be made, not billions. Trillions will be made. And when you hear Ash talking about, you guys have no idea, you have no idea, I believe him. Because I'm just watching other people. Now, I heard something the other day, doesn't matter who said it. Well, I see all these names, but I don't hear about I'm passive. You don't hear about I'm passive because that I'm passive doesn't want you to. When they're ready, the world will know who I'm passive is. It doesn't make sense to open these doors, swing them wide open, and we're working on something like a payment processor. you got to have all that ready. And Ash has everything planned. He is now surrounding himself with people that know things in great detail that he may not know. But he's smart enough to know what he doesn't know. And he will surround himself with the best. And now he's getting people going, yeah, we could do that. But did you realize if you do this and this, that automatically happens. Yeah. And that's the internet. That's where 
not not what we're used to. I love it because I'm learning every day. Do I get it all? No, but there's a little piece there. If you get enough of the pieces, you could put, you know what the, you remember putting a puzzle together on your table with the family, 1,000 piece puzzle, 10,000 piece. You get enough pieces, you know that's a picture of a barn. There's a field there. You're pretty sure what it is. I have enough pieces, and all you guys, if you watch, ask what he's saying, where they're going. We're starting to see a picture of the unpassive where it's heading. And I love the idea that their competition is unpassive. They're not chasing another company. I wouldn't want you to chase another company because I don't think he's they're that good. Yeah, they have money, they have a lot of stuff, but because we're built with a different rationality and built with heart and wanting to help people, I think we're going to do things that nobody will do. I'm not saying they can't do it, but they have no desire to do it. But if you can find out what people want, I know people are scared to death. I got people call me, did you watch the movie I Am Robot? Yeah, I saw it. Listen, the, the evil things can happen with a can opener, okay? I could kill you with an orange if I hit you hard enough with it. It's what you do with the technology. We have no intentions on doing bad things. None. It doesn't make sense. Will bad things happen? Yeah, bad things happen every time something new comes out. But I believe where we're going, if people will just slow down, don't worry about what you don't know. Just look at look at the pieces you already have together. You got the whole square in. You're starting to see what's in the center of the don't worry about the little corner up here. It's missing. It's only going to get better. Just look at what we have. And I think people will really be astonished of how we're grabbing the internet. Not only are we staying ahead of it, I believe we're creating the internet. There's a big difference. You can, you can chase the internet and be the best there is in the internet. I think you can also create the internet so that people wind up chasing you. And, and I'm starting, this is me, I'm starting to see where we are going to be someday the leader of things that happen. And, and we will be the one being chased. We'll be the one, look what they did. Oh, why would they do that? And, and you will find it because I had somebody say, how's a big company like that going to make money? They never talk about money. They don't even care about money. That's how they're going to make money. They're going to make money exactly that's how, not talking about it. Because if you have the ingredients, what is it? Cake, eggs, milk, right? You put that together in the oven for 45 minutes, you got a cake. I don't have to say cake. I got all the ingredients. I put it in 45 minutes, it's a cake. I'm passive is putting everything together, and after it comes out of the oven, it's success. Success is money. But you don't have to say it. You don't have to talk about the ingredients. It is what it is. But we are going to blow things up. I'm... And, and that's what I'm excited about when you see, when he's talking, a lot of people, oh, I don't know this. And they're, they're, here's the problem with passive. People are thinking too small. You've got to let go of you. The only thing holding you back is you. I did it. I know. I'm not perfect. There's things going on. And I was thinking real small. When I got in, it was 15,000 people. I said, oh, great. It's already saturated. What a small mind that was. Right? I mean, come on. We don't, they don't even know who we are yet. Anyway, I take it away or I'm going to hurt myself. Give it to somebody else. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I, I, I think for me, um, uh, it, it's an ideal business model from my point of view, from, from being or having no idea about the technology, no idea about marketing, no idea about you know how you acquire or get customers to come on board or or targeted traffic i have no idea of that i'm an i'm a numbers guy i that's all i know so um when you've got a company that's going to do all of the bits and pieces that you can't do it's the perfect solution to owning a business you know it, most people when they set up a business You've got huge upfront costs. You've got to learn everything as you go because it's not just about, you know, having this shop with craft work in it that you've created. You've got to understand how you've got to run the shop, um, you know, about um, um, changing money up and, and making sure there's enough in the till to be able to pay 
um, the uh, the difference back, etc. And along with that, you've got to make sure you pay all the bills and and and. So for some people, it it, it can become overwhelming, and this is why I love this business in particular because in essence and in its simplistic form, we have an online store. That online store, the company will put in all of these various products that I have no clue as to how they work, but I don't need to know. And they will sell them on our behalf. So <clears throat> we know, as I said, there's a, a approximately 198 odd million people joining the internet every year. <clears throat> as the um, population expands, more and more people get into um, at access to the internet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as we move forward, we have this capability and with the data centers coming on board as well, we have the, the capability to be able to provide <coughs> or look after the entire internet. Now, Jeffrey, what, what are your thoughts about this, this setup for us, this setup for the company and, and what it's going to do? Um, well, I agree. Uh, with what you just said. And obviously, Marty, you talked about a lot of things. Uh, There's a couple of them that really kind of caught my attention. You, you talked about prediction and AI prediction and the analytics and all of that stuff, uh, what we can do with that. Um, we can drill down even a little bit more with that in that with our own products through on passive, you know, through the chat bots and virtual assistants and things like that, we're going to have some personalization that not only can predict, but that doggone AI is going to get smart enough to understand what the user intention is. So that is like, man, that's a whole new ball game right there. Um, I also like the fact that you were talking about just chillax a bit to use that phrase. You know, you, you were saying in your own way, guys, stop worrying about the minutia. Stop worrying about the little things that you don't see and look at what we've got on the way to where we're going because it's all happening but it's strategic and it's by design and it's all going to come out when it needs to. And yeah, okay. Uh, there's some frustration out there, but that's, that's a, a perception. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, getting back to what you are asking uh, about where is all this going and what kind of a platform do we have? And are we, you know, is, is it taking us where we want to go? The answer is absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, we have been saying for a while that we're going to dominate the internet, right? The, I mean, we're just saying, look, we're, we're going to dominate the internet. We've been saying that for a while. We are, we are the future of the internet. If you look at everything that it takes to be the future of the internet, if you look at uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning that are driving advancements in areas of natural language processing, predictive analytics, like you were just talking about, on passive is there. If you look at the IoT, the Internet of Things, how it's connecting to devices and homes and cities and creating new opportunities for op, uh, uh, automation uh, efficiencies, we're there. We, we've already talked about connecting peripherals to some of the software that we've got. When you talk about things like blockchain technology, decentralized networks, right, that are, are literally redefining security and privacy and online trust and all of that stuff, on passive is there now they may not be directly in blockchain but they're in all that security they're in the privacy they're doing what's right because it's right and that's just a natural uh evolution of where we're going right and to dominate the internet we're going to have to invest in ai and machine learning research research and development and we're there we're already doing that we're going to have to develop very Innovative IoT solutions. I mean, we're going to have to integrate those things with existing in, uh, infrastructures, which we are creating and we're doing our own through on passive, but we're also connecting globally. I mean, he's already said, you know, hey, we've got the data center that you talked about, uh, Andy, and it's interconnected uh, continentally now. And I believe that we're running OConnect and probably some of those peripherals through it. So we're already there. You know, uh, we're going to have to embrace blockchain technologies. Now that may not be in finances uh, for on passive immediately, but it's certainly in secure systems. It's certainly in 
other types of ledgers and contracts and stuff that we're going to be using also for technologies in uh, secure, transparent transactions. We talked a lot about that before. Um, he's, uh, we talked about um, the culture of OnPassive. A, a, it's, a, it's a community. It's, it's a data-driven decision-making, user-centric, right? human-centric design. We're there. We are already there. We're pushing the boundaries of every bit of this. So we are the future of Internet. And we're going to dominate it. So if you ask me, you know, where are we at with the design and the business model of OnPassive, we're at the top of the heap. So I hope that answers your question. It certainly does, Jeffrey. Thank you. Um, so, Collins, what would you like to add? I know you've got something to say regarding blockchain, blockchain technology. Yeah, blockchain technology is massive, especially this current time. I know that Jeffrey touched something which I, I'll for coming to blockchain technology, I just want to touch about the domination of internet space. You know, Ash Mufara, our CEO of Origi, told us that, gave us a lot of tips. He said, the way we know your name, we are going to own it. You know, to own it, there are four things for you to be able to do to own the internet space. One is the product, a total, you know, ecosystem with single sign-on, you know, driven by AI. You have that, then you say, all right, do I have, am I a domain register? Because you need a domain register for you to be able to own the internet. It means you're not dependent on third party. You need a data center, you know, and then you need a payment processor. You know, Mr. Alpha gave this tip when he was talking about, when he started thinking about building a business. He said, when you look at like a traditional business, what do you need? The first thing you will look, okay, I want to open a shop like Peter Rogers, the first thing you need is the location. Where will I locate my shop? Once you notice the place, they say, all right, let me go and look for the building. Yeah, I like this place. This is where everybody will see me. Now the building. You say, all right, I now have a building. What do you need to do? What type of things will you sell in your shop? You start to fill it with product. Now, after the product, you say, all right, a lot of customers will not come in. How, how are they going to pay? You know, they can't just come and say, okay, this is my money. You need a cash machine or something like that to, to you know, to add it. So when customers come, by the time you open your door, everything is complete. Now, when you have this, all right, I want to check it. And you need a register as well because when you, you click on the product, so when the product, your, your stock is getting low, you can say, all right, because maybe you have a big shop where you cannot keep everything in your head. You need to keep it digitally. Say, all right. If it's going low, I have a book where I can say, all right, maybe sugar is going low. I need to replenish it, this. Now it's all right. I have this. This is the four things. Now, if you want to transfer that shop online, like most companies are going online, what do you need? You need a location, which is your domain. That shop must be located, domain. The next thing is, do you have the product? The website, you build a website, which is the house. And that house, now you have to fit it with products. You need to put a cash register, which is a payment processor. You know, payment processor, you need a data center because that's where all the data are going. You know, everything that you put in your shop must be registered somewhere. You have a hosting right and all of those type of things. And this is exactly what Mr. Ash Mofara did. You know, but everything is so advanced. Now he said, all right, now this is a shop on passive I've built. How do I replicate this shop? to as many people as possible, you know? So they will not come and just live on under my domain, like on passive, but they will have their own shop. So I want to replicate this. Now say Madi is where Madi is living. Madi said, okay, I'll open a shop now in North Arizona and I'll give it to Jeffrey Moloch. That shop is owned by, not by name, not Madi Digamo, Jeffrey. He said, okay, I'll open it in UK. Collins, you own it, it's Collins. But who is running it behind, fielding the shop is Mr. Madi Digamo. But whose name is on that shop is Collins Manor. That is exactly what Ms. Ash Mofara have done, replicating on passive to as many people as possible. So when we say the world will know your name, it is not Madi who is speaking or Jeffrey who is here or those who are online every day talking. There are the people who have come in to participate, agree that I want to become a founding or affiliate member you agreed to become one 
and Mr. Ash said, okay, I will replicate this shop. You own it. It's not Mr. Ash Mofara, it's you now. The same shop. Now the well is knowing who, the well is knowing your name, not Mr. Ash Mofara. The webmaster, Mr. Ash Mofara, who, and the tech team, they are doing the work on your behalf. You don't need to know it. That's exactly what they have done, replicate shops to as many people, millions of people. You know, you own it and that is yours. And what is happening, AI is doing all the work for you. You know, everything they are looking, the millions of customers coming is just trained on, on all the shops because we are talking about 5.5 .5 billion internet users or 6 billion internet users. Let's say for 4 billion, one of the products that we are we, on Passive is producing. What happened? Your life is already gone. You are already, you are already, you are, you are an owner of a shop, of a multi-billion dollar shop. You know, Mr. I said, you came for a cup of coffee and they gave you the whole store. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it there. It's, it's just so it's, crazy if you think about Miss Ashford. I've just done. You know? It's it's <laughs> absolutely fascinating and phenomenal that he's that we're we're doing this because this <clears throat> not only is uh, have we got and everything has to go in stages. I get that. I understand that. But but um, um, what the the difference that um, uh, has been made recently is that we have this ICANN certification, which means that we as um, um, affiliates get to offer domain names to others. So we become, if you like, a GoDaddy of our own. Phenomenal. Okay, so we've also got accreditation for the for the uh, the data center. So all, all of this is, is the lead up, if you like, as Marty was going earlier on, this is the lead up, the build up to the next stage, the next focus. So where do you see this going then, Marty? Oh, great. Um, beyond my pay scale, but I, <laughs> look at, no, I, I believe, I just believe every any everything's possible, right? I mean, we've seen what's gone so far. Uh, I believe the technology, even in the five years I've been in on passive, the technology in the last five years is m miles ahead as it was when I gave in five years ago. I mean, I don't know where the end is. And every day I go to uh, AI news, AI news for the day, AI this, AI that. And and things I'm hearing of, today was one was uh, breast cancer, where tens of thousands of people went in for mammogram or whatever it's called. And there was a, there was a, a few of them that the doctors didn't see it and AI did. Now, those kind of things is life-saving, okay? Now, I know when people think AI, they're thinking a robot knocking on your door and trying to take over your family or whatever. But, and I know get, people get nervous of it, but I really think, like you, like, like uh, Colin said it perfect, we have this big, gigantic technology, muscle, power behind every one of us. I mean, I've got the mall of the world and I don't have to do anything physically. I don't pay the electric. I don't pay the staff. I just have to stock my shelf. And by the way, after I stock it, I can pay from it. I can pay for it from my commissions. So everything after that is gravy. And I just can't imagine. We owned a bagel shop. It was a nightmare. Oh, it sounded cool. It was sexy. Oh, we're going to have our own business. It was a nightmare, absolute nightmare. Trying to get people hired, they wouldn't come in. They did come in. They made a mistake. People complained because you're general. We have, we have a business that is everywhere. I don't have to worry worry about a window got broke, the ceiling's leaking, the oven won't start. All of that is fixed every day. Every day I get an uplift. If I if when I open the key to my virtual business anything that was updated or uplifted or enhanced is there automatically so people come in and they go wow what a beautiful store wow what'd you do repay wow what'd you do put in a new you know that happens daily daily and then imagine giving selling something to somebody at a price a price 67 percent less than anybody else on the planet technology beyond everybody else on the planet and on top of that 
every time there's an upgrade, you get it for free. That's crazy. Nobody, hey, I just sold you a 2024 Cadillac, and it's got this, 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 and this. By the end of the year, it doesn't have 10 features. It's got 50. So it's just getting better and better and better and better. And then you'll say to yourself, yeah, but are they going to want it next month? Of course they are. Are, are, are average everyday people going to share it? Of course they are. That's the beauty of this company. Look, you don't have to be a marketer. I would rather not talk to a guru. I don't want to talk to a marketer because they already think they know. And the chance that I'm talking to the 2% that are successful, that's pretty freaking slim. Okay? Because 97% think they're doing okay when they break even. That's not what we got in for. And on passive, all that hard stuff, how do you market? How do you get people? How do you how do you brand? How do you all I have to do is throw my domain on a brand that's already branded. I don't even have to do it. I just have to direct them go here. And as far as everybody knows, O Connect was built by Marty Agrano. And you guys know sure as that that didn't happen, okay? I don't have <laughs> I, I, I couldn't do any of that. But that's what Ash is giving us. He's giving us the birth of something new daily, and we don't have the we don't we don't even have the labor pains. The baby, the new baby's there every day. We we get a new one all the time. You go in, hey, look what we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so cool, especially with the way it's being set up. So where are we going? I don't know, but it's gonna it's gonna be scary good. But really, I don't know. But 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 looking at where we've been and where we are now, fasten up because it's going to be a crazy ride. And I believe everything about on passive sky's the limit. I really do. I think the sky's the limit because it was designed that way. When I said the other day, he overheard us talking before he came on and we were saying, there's nothing. Number one in the world, conferencing platform is O Connect. And he got on, he said, well, I want to, I want to kind of revise that. We're coming out with a new one in the summer, maybe spring, that's going to make this one look obsolete. That's a business I want to be part of. I want to be part of a business that when great's not good enough. When great isn't good enough, you're in the right place. When you get something, when I first saw the first, this O-Connect version, no joke, out of everything since I've been in, I went, it's over. People see this, it's over. And then you have the CEO come on and go, he's like, that's good. Wait till you see what we got. And the competition is ourself. Come on, guys. You can't lose. There's no losing. So when you want to think small about, well, what about this? And what about that? What about God? Please look at what you can do. Don't look at what you don't know yet. Look, we don't know a lot of stuff. But I tell you what, it's going to change lives. It's going to change worlds. Papua New Guinea's got 13,000 uh, founders or resellers on their little country right now. What impact is this going to have on a country that small when you give people value and choice? And it's going to change that. It's going to change that country. I think that's going to happen around the world. That's what we're part of. We're part of something that just keeps on giving. And it's never good enough, even if it's great. So... That's where we're going. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I heard something the other day. <clears throat> Obviously, we've got a lot of um, data analysts, and it's not just the AI, but you, you feed in all of this information, as you said, and they say, right, okay, we know this is going to go viral, but but I, I want one of you guys to actually explain to me what going viral means, because <clears throat> you know we hear the the phrase being bandied about, but what does it mean for on passive? Oh, you got it. Okay, go for it, Marcy. Let me let me just say my piece. I'm going to give you an example because I had I had some things viral happen with me. I didn't know what it was until it happened. We made a post, and we didn't pay very much money because we didn't have any money, and it was a really ugly post. But something in it triggered people, and it went viral. 
the company that we were promoting folded and the people responding to the post went on for another 60 days. That's viral. That's when you go, it's like a snowball. You know, if you roll something down the hill like a bowling ball, it stays the same size. You roll a snowball down the hill, it gets bigger, faster. Viral's bigger, faster. Viral's when the craziness is contagious. Hey, did you see this? Hey, did you? That's where you start going viral. On um, passive, when Ashley Faro said, we are going to, he didn't say, I think we're going to. He didn't say, there's a good chance we're going to. We will go viral with O-Connect. I believe it. After what I saw this week, yeah, we're going to go viral. And then he's going to make something better. What that means is they're going to turn on the faucet for marketing. We're going to be able to purchase marketing. But what, the unseen part of that is the viral. The viral will be when Ed introduces it to Ted and Ted introduces it to his family and his family introduces it to his family. And then the CEO introduces it to a company and his company because CEOs are friends of other companies and they replace. And this goes on and on and on. That's where you start going viral. That's where, boom. And, and why Ash wants to be the best of the best? Because if you have the chance to go viral, you can't be second best. Because then it's going to be a shot in the pan. It won't last. It'll last a little bit. And why does he keep putting more products? Because as soon as you hit that peak, you slam another product on there. And they won't, they, they can't wait to see it. So you're going slam, 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 slam. And at the same time, the O Connect that you bought seven months ago is brand new. It's brand new every month. Brand freaking new. Now you add O Tracker. It's brand new every month. You add something else. You add something. Now you got physical products. What the freak do we think is going to happen? It's going to be, it's going to explode. It's going to explode. Now, Ash has told us this. This isn't something we don't know, but I think sometimes we don't listen to what he's saying. While he's talking, my mind is gone. That's why I hate when somebody asks me something on what I, I can't even talk. No, Marty, what do you think? Are you kidding? What do you mean? What do I think? I need a day to absorb what I just heard, but it's big. And I'm, you know, the reason I'm really stoked about this is because everybody that saw it and said yes had the opportunity of a lifetime to win for the first time online for the first time in their life and i believe that and i i couldn't tell you that for 20 years no way i seen i seen people that were gurus lie to people i don't know if they meant to some did some didn't but the fact is numbers don't lie and do you know that a number is a number two and two is four yeah. i don't give a crap what you say two and two is four so if you, if 97, 98% fail, that's not a good track record. I don't care who you are. But if you can flip that upside down and 98% of the people succeed, and the only reason the two don't is because they didn't do anything, I don't know. I think we're in a, a ride of a lifetime. And, and I believe that I wouldn't say it. I, where else, listen, I could have marketed and I could have made a little money outside of on passive. I could have. But I didn't. Why? I, were, I was in here five years because I believe this is the only place to be for everyone that is looking. I had people say, yeah, but I got three or four people. I keep going after them. They won't let them go. Let them go out to pasture. They're coming back. Nobody's going anywhere. This gets successful and they, people can see success. You're going to walk taller. You're going to smell better. You're going to drive something nicer. You're going to they're going to know. And you don't need to talk about money. Marty, where did you get that? I'm passing made that possible for me. Is that the company you told me about a year ago? Yeah. Is it too late to get in? No. That's going to happen. That's part of viral. That is going to happen. Especially when you got a product like Old Connect. And that's just one. I asked them the other day, and I'm going to say this in front of everybody. Is O-Net and O-Mail going to be at the standard of O-Connect? Yes, and then we're going to chase even that standard. I said, thank you very much. That's all I need to know. He said, everything on the platform, the, the worst you're going to see is the new O-Connect. The worst you're going to see is the new O-Connect for everything we have. 
In fact, this Oak Connect is going to look pretty sloppy in about a month or two months. That's pretty cool, guys. That's pretty cool. incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what would you like to add to that, Jeffrey? I know you you're chomping at the bit to uh, to add a few points. No, I I think you did a pretty good job. I mean, you know, Marty's been a marketer for a long time. I mean, when we talk about something going viral, though, it's just it's exactly as he said. You know, it's, they're they're talking about the online phenomenon that happens when you know a social media post or something else an email whatever goes exponentially you know because of the popularity because it's being viewed because it's, like he said it resonates something resonates with somebody and it starts getting shared over and over and over and over thousands hundreds of thousands of, yeah uh, this is going to happen it's going to happen with it on passive when these products start coming out and people see how good they are and how, how much they don't cost you know, then people are going to get excited. People are going to learn and they're going to know and life is going to be good for us. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeffrey. Anything you'd like to add then, Collins? Yes, I just agree with Maddie and Jeffrey. You know, viral is something that um, when you think about it, like, you know, when we always talk about viral, always, I remember when iPhone came out and it sold out, you know, and we, we're thinking about the iphone 5 the way it is you know the whole world knows it you know go to the farthest corner in Papua new guinea it said all right what is the latest phone now iphone don't tell you it's iphone 15. how do they know that because it's viral and this is how like body is playing that's how things will go viral. go to even the the smallest village in cameroon said do you know google he said yes yeah, a search engine they know google everywhere and that's the viral effect you're talking when i said we are not yet there but we will go viral means in the smallest corner on this planet Earth, where technology is or internet is, they will know on passive. They will know at least the products. One of the products may be Opal, you know, O Connect, and they'll say, "Wow, what is O Connect? Oh, it's on passive, you know." And that is how it will just explode, you know. So this is really, it's really good for on passive. Honestly, when I think about it, it's like, wow. So the world will, will just like knows everything about on passive especially some of the popular pro like maddie said o mail o net you know it will go viral okay so marty uh, uh, we're going to close off in, in a bit but <clears throat> what what would you like to say to somebody that's looking to build a second income because let's face it the cost of living is going up everywhere every country um uh, you know inflation is taking its toll and everybody's looking for that little bit extra so what 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 would you say to somebody that's you know looking for a second income is on passive uh, a system that they could take advantage of oh yeah um yeah I, be, because i've been fried long enough <laughs> my, behind, my behind looks like a Big Mac, okay? No, but listen, it, anybody online more than like a week, they start to realize something's not right. This isn't quite what I thought it was. They always have these little rhymes and riddles, you know, follow me in 60 days and I'll make you free and 120 will be just like me and all that nursery rhyme bull crap. It doesn't work. But if you're looking to, and I mean this, and I, I've said this on my live, if you're looking to build an income where everyone wins and the potential is unlimited and there's no small print, there's no I gotcha, there's no surprises, everything is out in the open. You are, you are dealing with products that are in high demand. We will have many, many products that are multi billion dollar products you don't have an auto ship you don't have to hit a quota you don't have to be a guru you don't need to know marketing you don't need to know how to write real well you don't need need to know how to know the trends you don't need to know none of that you need to say yes and then you need to go with the system and there's a lot of people here that want to help there's a lot of people that will guide you we don't have this guy's better than this guy. We have guides. People will guide you along the way. And the one thing I would say, 
since you can get in for free and judge for yourself, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Because at the end, you could just say, this isn't for me. If success is not for you, this is the wrong place to go. It is absolutely going to mess you up. If just too good is too good. But I'm telling you, if you come in, take a look, check out what they have, see what they're giving away for free. Look at what they've done. Look where they put their money where their mouth is. Look at what they're, they're, they're aiming for. And I'm telling you, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, all of them can see this very clear. And I think if you just came in and looked, just look on your own. And I want to I want to give a fair warning to everyone. And I say this a lot and I mean it. If you go to Google and you look up any company, you will see negative. I'm going to tell you the truth right now. Google and these other search engines are search engines. They're not truth engines. They give you the information, whether it's good, wrong, or lie. The most popular is usually at the top. The very top one is paid for. Two, three, four, five to one billion is whoever ranked the highest. And sometimes negativity ranks very, very high. But if you look at it and you come in, I wouldn't Google anything. I Googled a sore on my elbow and I had polio when I was done. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't go do that. There's nothing wrong with researching, but go find out. I went in and heard about Ashley before and this and this. He should be in a freaking orange jumpsuit, but yet he's walking around building this empire. Come on. It's stupid. If you're going to take the word of somebody or a negative, then don't even look. I'm saying for you, judge you. You're good enough. You're smart enough. Log in, look at it, check out everything and say, this isn't for me, leave. I'm not going to try to sell you on thing. I've never tried to talk anybody in non-passive, not once. I brought more people trying to talk them out of it because they started off negative. But I realize sometimes negative is just being afraid. Don't be afraid. You can't bring your wallet out. Throw it away. Come in, sign up, see what you're getting, see what's offered, see what's coming. And I think if you have any brains in your head at all, and I'm not talking about a scholar, you're going to say yes. I believe that with all my heart. But come in. Don't beat it down. Don't look for negative because you're going to find it. I'm, listen, the Internet is full of negative. Absolutely to the max. Facebook is negative. All this is negative. It's, it's, with, it's what makes the world go around. It's sad, but it's true. Search engines and search engines. It's not a truth engine. Get in. Check it out for yourself. If you don't trust anybody else, you got to trust yourself. Come in, look at it for yourself, and you decide. Other than that, I don't have anything else. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Jeffrey, I'm sure you'd love to add to that. Uh, is this a conclusion remark? Is that what we've got here? Yeah, if you like. Yeah, absolutely. A, a kind of a, what, what, what would you say to somebody looking to uh, uh, – obtain or get a second income why is on passive different to anything else well you know the only thing i'd probably point out marty i loved what you said as a matter of fact i need to get on on air with you more you're a funny guy man i get laughing <laughs> over you with you with your audience so this is good but like you were saying negativity man it sells it, probably not as good as sex but it sells and fear Man, if you're fear mongering and you put fearful stuff out there, oh, the algorithms love you. <laughs> well, that's why you get the answers back you get. That's why you get all the negativity coming back because it's the algorithms and it, and it, and it gets clicks. So that's that. Now, what would I say to somebody with that was looking for a second income? I'd say, go find one. If you need it today, go out and start working. But if you're looking for something to secure your future, something you can take your time with, it's not going to cost you a dime in the interim. Take a look at what we've got. Look at the uh, the QR codes up at the top of this screen on Andy and, and Collins. Click one of them, right? Scan it. Go see what we've got. Go and check out the on passive ecosystem. Go in there and see some of the trials that are in there. Give them a test run. 
See if you like them. Get on there with your family. Have you know, have some webinars on us. Go in there and check out O Tracker. Man, I'll tell you, I love O Tracker. O Tracker has got more bells and whistles than every other analytics program, including Google or anybody else that's out there. And it's prettier and it's nice. You know, go get you an email, go get you some net uh, social media. It's all free or free trials. I mean, won't cost you a dime. You couldn't pay for it if you wanted to. Just go check it out. But that's if you've got a little time to wait and you've got a time to build something for your future because that's what's going to be able to happen here. You're going to have wonderful, absolutely fantastic products that are all linked together. They're going to be integrated. They're going to be automated through AI. They're going to be owned and run by on passive on on passive platform. You know, no third parties you got to worry about. We're not selling anybody's data. We don't do that. Won't want to do that. We're built with heart. Our motto is AI with heart. Our motto is, come on, the correction to the corruption. Really? Is there any other planet or any other company on the planet with a motto like yeah. that? No. Look at how we're built. Look at what our models are. Look at where we've come from and where we're going. It's happening. And I'm telling you what, Marty, you're right. The internet's come a long way since we, its inception, right? And the future is more exciting than ever. Marty, you said it best. And there's no way to gauge how far or how fast we're going to get or go or, or how fast we're going to get there, right? An indication of this power that we've got with OnPassive and keeping up with the way the economy and the internet's going is when Mr. Mufara talked about that new, I mean, we don't even have the, the current O-Connect out commercially, and he's already saying, hey, we've got the improvement to that well on the way, along with a whole lot of other stuff. And this is how it works. This is how we roll. This is how we stack the cool. And it ain't never going to stop. We've talked about that. That's what the innovation labs are for. So if you're looking for something to, to, to put a little control in your future, or future rather, and, and, and get rid of the fear, right? Because there's only love and fear. You're operating out of one of them. Which one are you in? Because if you're afraid or you're in fear or you're not sure or you, you don't want to take a chance, man, get over it. Get over it. Do you want do you want a future that's going to be secure and bright and it's going to build and it's going to last? Something that you can give to your family? Jump on board. Look at what we've got. Go do it. Right? Companies that prioritize innovation like we're doing, that prioritize collaboration like we're doing, and that make sure that the best user experiences is exactly what's happening, is going to be poised to dominate the internet of tomorrow, right? That's going to be the internet landscape that we're going to be dominating. And as we continue to push the boundaries of what we know is possible online, like on passive is doing, life is just going to get good. And I take very good comfort in knowing that it's on passive's intention, right, to also ensure that the internet remains a force for good, accessible, and beneficial to all. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. That was brilliant. Collins, what would you like to add? I'm going to make sure ah, you go after Jeffrey oh instead my, of me. <laughs> my, my dear Jeffrey, they just like blow the whole stuff, you know, but it's really good. Like Maddie talk about negativity and Jeffrey just, um, he also touch up, touch on it. You know, sometimes it's always good to, to, to depend on your own ability to reason and think rather than depend on others ability. They are not saying, don't be careful when you're joining something but when you look at on passive is there any risk involved to join on passive no because it's just about creating a free account and if you don't want it click the button and go so when you go online someone said take a look at on passive say no let me go and google it what are you really googling what do you really want to know the platform is already there for you to come and take a look not like googling because by the time you are going to google it means deep down in your heart you're not convinced and now you are searching for negativity because you are looking at the negative part of it so you are not a positive thinker and a positive thinker can a negative thinker can never succeed in any business because you started with negative so you've already built your mindset with negative you know so how can you even see clearly because everything you are doing like you're scared you're scared and there is no way you can you can succeed we must always choose hope over fear. That's why I always think, I said myself, I always choose hope. I'm always hopeful in anything I do. And because of that, I know with anything I do, I'm, I, always, I always come triumphant. 
because I don't put negative in my mind. I said, there is nothing to be afraid of because look at all the great people you can think about, you can think of. They never, Magic Johnson, how many shot? They said 100 shot. He never gave up, but the last shot made him a millionaire in basketball. I think Ma Michael Jordan, you know, show me the best person, the people you think that are successful people. Go and check how many times they failed. Amazon failed as well. They tried, you know, they tried and tried, keep on trying. The only time you fail is when you stop trying. You know, you must keep on trying. There is no failure in non-passive because at the end of the day, you don't have to pay anything to come in. Come in as free person, take a look at the free product. If you don't want it, you click the button and you say, bye, you know, and there is nothing <laughs> you will gain or lose if you are not out there. But if you are not in, you have everything to lose. That's the truth. Because one day you turn around and say, my goodness, you know, why? Why? Because we are thinking about the affiliate program coming or the free. What happened after 10 years? Mr. I said, no, we don't want any affiliate anymore. You never know. You know, and you'll be sitting looking at it and say, my goodness, the door is shut. When they told me, I never take the opportunity to come in, even for a free user and click that button. Even if you don't pay, click the button and sit there, looking at watching it, but you are already in. It's better to be in the house and cry than to be out of the house and cry, you know, because there is no way you can come in. <laughs> so that's the journey of unpassive. And most of those people who sit back, you know, writing negative stuff, stuff, ask them how much do they know about unpassive? Nothing. They don't even have a clue. They write by listening to others and say, oh, let me put something online and say, this is it. Ask them, tell me 10 things about unpassive, you know. Nothing. They don't know. But those people who sat there and saying this, go and see the number of followers. Because those who are following, when I look at it, yes, these are the negative people. Because they have built their mind on negativity. And success will never even meet them anywhere. Because that is how they do. After on passive, they will still do it. Another company said this on passive coming. Company like this come in a decade, 10 to 15 years. See next. Bring that same person who is a negative person. The person will still criticize another new company coming up. That's their lifestyle. But do we need to think about them? No. So always use your own judgment. I always tell people, use your judgment. Don't rely on other people's ability. You have the ability in your own brain. We have about billions of brain cells in our head. We've never used them anywhere. So why should I depend on someone, on someone else? I will use my own judgment and come in. Not someone else's judgment. So that's what I will say. Thank you, Andy. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks Colin. <laughs> Um, I, I, I want to finish off with a, a couple of points that Jeffrey mentioned that I don't think people truly understand. If you look at the, the other social media platform that everybody uses right now, begins with F, right? Their entire value is based on the data they sell. Their entire value, okay? Now, Jeffrey made a point just a moment ago, we never sell data. What does that tell you about on passive? What does it say about the company? Yeah. We don't need to sell data. We, we, why? What's the point? We don't need to, to, you know, make billions out of information about you as an individual. This is why there are so many people that have fake accounts. And that's why I like to call it fake book. Because there are so many. But well, you have a picture up there and then you've got a guy talking and you try and match the voice with the picture and you go, no, it doesn't work. All right. I don't understand why people do that. At the end of the day, you are who you are. Um, so with, that, with our system, you prove who you are. You can't be fake. But it's this system about not have not selling data. YouTube, Google, Facebook are all about selling data. Don't need to do that. But that tells you a lot about the company. Now, the other thing is, if we've got 
currently around 5.4 or 5.5 odd billion people that's with a b that have access to the internet and we're currently let's call it three million odd within on passive how many customers do you want how many customers could you have and what would that do for your income if you started doing something about it I'm going to leave it on that note.